Now this show is more than singing, isn't it? So much more than singing, yeah. for sure, for sure. I mean, it, it's it's basically a history lesson that sort of comes to life on stage, right. for sure. Um, there's there's so much text and dialogues and, and stories that come out beyond just the music. Yeah, but just because looking at the Jubilee, people just think of singing about Negro spirituals. Oh, and yeah. I mean, just I mean, just just alone, just the just the the lyrics and the text of the of the show, without the music, you know, if you just read the lyrics, yeah. I mean, that that's that's more than enough. Well, you play, you are part of this phenomenal show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what sort of a mindset did you have to put on to actually get into, get into this? It. Um, it, you know, it, 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 it's been a challenging show. I mean, singing a cappella, singing 40 songs uh, without any one behind this instrumental rise. Um, I, I had to, as an artist, I had to prepare. Of course, I had to prepare my, my voice. I had to start learning, warming up, taking lessons, like getting prepared. Um, but then historically, knowing that we were playing real people, mm -hmm. we had, I had to do a lot of research to make sure I understood mm -hmm. and that I portrayed my character as accurately as, as possible. The 13 voices. Yes, yes. What was it like for auditioning for this show? Uh, the auditions were unique. We, we had auditions where they would bring us in by groups of four. There were hundreds of people who auditioned and they would bring us in by group, groups of four and we would sing a cappella. There'd be a soprano, alto, tenor, and a bass. And then we would do a monologue, some of the monologues that are in the show. Um, and they taught us all the music together. So they taught it to us and then they would just individually pick us out and you would sing and try to hold your harmony. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was sick on the day that I that I had had my, my call back. I was very sick. And so I was very surprised when I got a call saying that they want me to be in the show. Yeah. Um, because I wasn't I wasn't at my best. But I think that this show is looking more than just singers. Not everybody in the show is naturally a singer. We have opera singers, we have people who do musical theater, and we have people who just do plays, who don't even sing yeah. in this play. Yeah. And so it's a combination of all of it. And I think that the director really wanted artists that could tell the story the best way beyond the music. But what about the uh, the history? Yes. Uh, how does that you know, people are still saying, oh, it's just about singing. But yeah. tell us a little about that history yeah, that's you know, connected to those it, it songs. It makes me think, I, I, I remember um, always hearing the, the phrase that you stand on the shoulders of you know certain ancestries and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of what it is. Like, the history of this story is so important. You know, I, I believe that African Americans traditionally in society aren't portrayed in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Particularly when you think about slavery and you think about Reconstruction period. You, you know, you think about uh, African Americans in the cotton fields. But you don't think about the fact that many of them were educated, became educated, uh, were wealthy. I mean, there were towns where there were there were senators and there were you know uh, congressmen, and, and I mean, we never we never hear about that. And so this story is unique because it actually does that. Everyone in the show is very successful. You hear about their stories that they went on and became millionaires. They had businesses, their own tours. They they led healthy and productive lives and were very productive um, citizens of their society. And so I think that's very important to show that. I found it extremely powerful and profound, the conclusion. Yes. I hear I hear that that I hear it's very powerful. Yes. You, you hear. I hear because we can see it. But I hear and I you're mean, in it. I mean we can we we can sense a gasp from the audience mm -hmm. after we do the monologues and at the final two songs. And so I yes, I assume that it is a very powerful image is what I gather mm -hmm. for sure. Um, Tell me uh, the idea of this song, Remember Me. Yes. So Remember Me, it, it is a class, classic Negro spiritual. Mm -hmm. um, I, I had a professor who said he did a play once, and it was titled Rem, you know, Remember Me. Um, in the context of this show, that song is meant to confront and allow the audience to know that these are real people who have real lives, and to encourage the audience to go out and learn more about them. Because we only give you snippets of this. I mean, the Jubilee Singers, I mean, Fisk, Fisk University still exists today. Yes. And there's been choirs ever since that, that time in 18 whatever. And so that song is meant to encourage the audience to go do their research and learn more about Fisk University. Um, but it, I mean, particularly, I think it's very impactful for the audience, uh, from what I understand. Your character, uh, how did he die? Freddie. Um, 
Freddy, it, I, he, I don't know how he, I think he died from natural causes from understanding. It wasn't anything that was unique. Yeah. Um, but I know that he was 64 when he died, but he died a millionaire. Yes. He was a millionaire, and he, he literally gave his library of all these first editions to Fisk University, and they're still there today. Yes. Fisk University still has all of the books that, that Frederick J. Loudon gave when he, when he passed away. Yeah. Um, and and I know many of the Fist Jubilee singers, when they passed away, they, they gave things to the to the university. Is there any inspiration from this that you get? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, like I said, it, it's it's inspiring to, to tell a story of African Americans who are successful in a time where society did not want them to be successful. And I, I, I'm very encouraged by the audience members that we have. We have a mixed audience. Um, there are a lot of uh, Caucasian Americans that come to the theater uh, at this theater, and I'm encouraged that we're able to show them how fabulous, how fierce, how uh, triumphant African Americans are and have been in American history. Do you feel like a Jew? Oh yes, I definitely feel like a Jew. <laughs> I 100% I feel like a Jew. Singing 40 spirituals, yes, I, I am definitely a Jew, for sure. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Thank you.